Hello everyone. Hello the world. Hello YouTube. Um, so it's early in the morning here today, and uh, I'm fired up for another tutorial. So uh, I hope you're going to like it. So there's this, uh, you know, I'm, you know, this is another area where I've been aching to find out what FreeCAD can do, and uh, so. We are about to dive deep again into FreeCAD and see exactly what it can handle. So today the challenge would be to model a, you know, maybe a skyscraper of some sort, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is a, you know, I, I saw this skyscraper and I thought that this could be a pretty good challenge. Um, it has uh, all these curves and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's pretty interesting. Now, we're not, you know, I'm not going to try to emulate or redesign this whole thing because this is, you know, pretty complex. But we're going to look at, you know, what FreeCast has under the hood to help us uh, achieve such things. So, uh, one thing I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to pull up FreeCAD. But also, I have it here because I have created a file here because I want to observe the changes in the file size as um, as we perform some of these operations because, um, you know, th there's going to be a memory hog. Now, on my system currently, I have a lot of things running with everything, with the recording uh, and, and everything playing. So I'm already at 7.9 and I don't have any memory swap. So this is something I like to observe as it um, as it expands and evolves uh, while we try to do this. So uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to save the initial file on, on GitHub so that uh, at various intervals when there's going to be crashes or problems, maybe um, I can upload that. I can upload uh, the problem. So what I'm going to do is this is the initial file you start with. So I'm going to commit that. I'm going to say initial commit and push. All right. So it's looking good. So um, maybe I guess. The best way to get started would be to let's say to um to design a size. I probably want to go with um let's see I want uh let's go with uh, fifty meters by fifty meters, you know seems fairly big and reasonable for this to you know tutorial um in this example I sort of want my cent the center of my drawing to be at the center of this object so I'm gonna turn off that and uh, try to grab this object from the center what just happened calculating distance okay So now I want to make this um, make face false so I can snap it from there, select all of that, bring this back, and move that from here to here in the center. Okay. So we're going to assume that this is the outline of, uh, let's say, the curtain walls are going to be um, reaching all the way up, you know, this is the curtain wall. 
so now maybe we want to work with a size, a height. So I'm going to uh, duplicate this. Copy, paste, front, and um, for this one, what I want to do is I want to go to the part workbench. See, what would have been interesting is the fact that um, the extrude this option here, the trim, should have been able to extrude um, this object as a wire in much um, the same way that let me show you what I mean very fast. If this is a face, true, and I were to use this, it does extrude, but let me undo that, top view. But if this is not a face, false, okay? Make sure I'm in auto mode and I select that and I do that, nothing happens. You see that? It just moved the object. But the same option, if you go to the part workbench um, and you use this extrude option, let me make sure I am uh, in the top mode part workbench and then if I select this option let's say I want uh, the length to be 100 meters high uh, 100 maybe let's go with 200 I say okay. Um hold on. It's not exactly what I mean. What I mean is you can extrude a line. Um, <laughs> something strange and different from the way it used to behave. Well, anyways, I want to continue. Um, so here maybe I'm just gonna go ahead then with um. With this extrusion extrusion 200 meters oh it was on the option create solid so I want to uncheck that so you say okay so you see how you can extrude a simple face and that's a very good option um, to, to have on on the extrusion that's in the arc to make everything a bit concise. Um, now, the next thing is that in these kinds of scenarios, what I would do, for example, if I wanted to create is a quick, uh, a quick um, curtain wall representation of some sort that I can control, I'm gonna create the rectangles. Select that face, and then.
Okay. So maybe put the plane back here at the top. Hide this, hide this. Okay, so why I have this like this is because now I can play with the column settings. And the rows maybe 50. Okay, maybe that's too much, 50 is too much. Twenty-five, maybe. And then uh, make it eighty. So, you know, this is a very quick way of just uh, having a visual representation of what a glass would look like. So now, uh, let me get to the top now. So all those fancy stuff, for all those fancy stuff, I'm going to come to the sketcher. And I'm um, going to create a new sketch, x, y, okay. So the offset is at zero. Why is it important to pay attention to this? Is because this is not dependent on, on the arc top plane, which is a bit strange because these two things should have been related. Um, but uh, I'll be commenting more as we go about this feature. So go to um, <coughs> x, y at zero, zero. We would start with zero, zero. Um, so in this example, what I want to do is I want to select this. First, close that. Um, the fact that this is broken is actually um, f making it hard to select. So, select this. That. 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 Okay. Now, what you do is, I'm going to create. Um, Let's say a B spline or a periodic B spline. Let's go with this. Okay. So now I can do this, I can sort of stretch this like this, do that, stretch this like this,
All right, these edges don't exactly need to touch, but at this point, if you want to put some constraints to it, you can already start to draw some of the dimensions and stuff like that. But we're gonna stay very basic for now. Um, so close that, and I'm gonna file save that, and also maybe open the folder just to see how we're doing. Two ninety. Okay. So that's my sketch number one, but I'm gonna create another sketch. So if I am 200 tall, 200 meters tall, maybe I want to create one at 50. Um, no, I want to go to uh, top view, create another. Uh, I don't want to create a sketch on that object, but so I want to create it like this so here I have the ability to offset that let's say to 50 meters like this and I'll do the same thing and come with the base line Not exactly that. So, what I want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, well, this is good enough. Close that. So, what do we have? Okay, so I'm going to go back to top view, create another sketch, cancel that, deselect that, new sketch. Here I'm going to be at 100M. <coughs> Select that, 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 that. What am I going to do here? This one maybe... Maybe this one can just be a simple box, you know? <coughs> so maybe... because you always have the ability to modify this later. Okay, so this is 50, 100, 150. One fifty. <clears throat> okay, so what we can do maybe here at one fifty is that um, 
maybe we can copy this one so it's going to be So I'm going to select this. Convert a given geometry into B spline. But how do I select? Oh, okay. So I do this. So now I can do this. No, I select the wrong person. So what I want to select is rather this person. Oh no. I did not specify that I want you to be at 150. Um, okay. And then select that. And then now I can convert you into that and I can delete this now okay so if I wanted to modify that what do I do That's not exactly what I want to do. All right, well, whatever for now. Okay. So now I am going to, I suppose even maybe just recreate this one. So now I'm going to go back to the top view and create a new sketch. And this time around I am at 200 meters high. Okay. Select that and pick this object. Now convert this into B spline and then delete the other one. All right, so close that. Now we have everybody. I'm going to save that. How are we doing here? 24285. Okay. So now, 
I want to create a folder. I'm going to call that base sketch. Control sketch. Okay. Now what I want to do now is copy this and paste. So this one will be a boolean or um, what do you call that? I'm going to try to create a a, a loft. With these sketches, so I'm going to hide control ones and then do this I think they have to be in this in order. And then I'm going to leave this unchecked and then click OK. The strange thing I don't understand is why there would be these lines here. <clears throat> these lines are very strange. So now I can um, uh, okay. Now that I have this, what do I do next? Let me see what my... So I only have a few areas where it does intersect. So in that case, I might have to increase I'm going to offset this
of set up by 10. Or by by twelve Two hundred meters. Now we have the ability to study our shape. I'm going to change the color just so I can see where it does intersect. So now I see that, you know, I don't probably like the way it behaves down here. Let me file save that. Actually, if anybody's interested in the file at this stage, Um, what can I name this? Well, 732 right now, so I can name it 732. So I'm going to select sketch five and and edit that.
Oops. Uh, strange things. And I think I'm going to stop modifying that like that. I'm going to just accept it the way it is so now um, going back to my main rectangle let me hide this top view offset I want it to be about here. Yeah. So this is going to be my flaws. So what do I do from here? I want to give it a uh, No, in this example, probably a structure would be much better. So I will extrude it, I'll give it a negative normal. <laughs> like this. So now I can. Uh, I can array this uh, in the Y, Z. I want to make sure in the X this is zero. I want to make sure in the Y this is zero and I want to make sure in the Z uh, this is 3M and uh, the count let's go to 2 And uh, here the number is one, one, okay. How thick is this? This structure, how thick is it? It is one meter height. I want it to be a 0 0.2. Exactly. Very small indeed. So now in the array, I can increase the array.
Okay. Now stuff is gonna start to get serious here, man. Let me file save that. Four oh three. So far, so good. So now what? Mm -hmm. Now what? does it look like if I were to try to I take my log So I take my loft and then I read that and then I go to the part and I'm going to cut. So what do I want? Let's try it. So here I'm going to select this second and then cut. So here's the processor that's working. <coughs> what is our result? That is exactly what we don't want. So I'll try it differently now. So let's select this and that now and cut. Okay, so we have an error. Now let's try something. In this extrusion, this is a this is an open stuff. So what I want to do is I want to make this a solid true. Okay. 
So let's try that again. So select this and select that. And cut. Okay, we have something here. Okay, so let's analyze this result. strange result okay so let me do it the other way around this and this cut Okay, so what do we have here? Now we have a mixture. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not what I want. I have a feeling that the fact that there's nothing touching here, the base, is having an, an effect. So to remedy that, I'm thinking on this loft. No, I'm thinking that on the array, I will move you up. 
I'll move this up by 3M. So this makes that the cut is inside the volume. What about the top? So now here in the top, I will take one level off. I thought there was a way to Okay, 66. All right, like let's, let's try. Let's try that again. Strange result. So now do the other way around. Rather, I tell the loft to cut there. I have too many floors but this is what it takes to find out you know push it to its limit it's just 1.3 gigabytes it's not that bad Okay, so it swallowed it. So if I just want the shape itself, what do I do? Mm hmm. Mm 
No, that's not what I want. What I want is you and you now. What is this other option? Makes an intersection of the two shapes. That's what I will try. This. The loft first and then the array second. Do that. Bingo. But, but we are missing some flaws. File save. This is for anyone interested in checking out. interested in testing and finding out as well why it's doing that now this is what I want but it's missing some flaws and this is annoying Change the flow thickness to one meter and see how it updates. I see the time it takes as well. So we jumped and we are at 4.8 megabytes.
Okay. These flows have a transparent value. So the edge is so sharp, which means it's following the the shape of uh, So in a way it is possible that the behavior of why it did not provide all the flaws is strange. But in terms of possibility, it's definitely possible to, to achieve that. Okay. So that was it. Um, there was much further exploration that I wanted to do, um, but uh, I think that for this level, this kind, I'll try, I'll wrap this at this point um, and and figure out the next things that I'd like to potentially attempt to do. But this does to give you an idea of how uh, this kinds of stuff can be achievable. It's not exactly perfect yet, but there's a way to work around if you just exactly know the right combination of the tools. Alright, so I hope you liked it and uh, see you on the next tutorial.